This is question number seven. We're told the point P, 1 comma A, lies on the curve with equation Y is equal to X plus 1 all squared multiplied by 2 minus X. In part A for one mark, we're asked to find the value of A. All we're going to do is simply sub in the coordinates. So we have now A, that's the Y coordinate, and when X is equal to 1, we're going to have 2 squared multiplied by 2 minus 1, which is going to give me 1. That shows now that A is going to be equal to 4, and that's our one mark. In part B, we're asked to sketch the curves with the following equations. The first one, y is equal to x plus 1 all squared multiplied by 2 minus x, and the second one, y is equal to 2 over x. It says on your diagram, show clearly the coordinates of any point at which the curves meet the axes. If we start with this one, this is a cubic equation. We've got a repeated root at negative 1, hence the squared term. We've got a root at 2, and this is going to be negative. So let's go ahead and draw a quick sketch. So we're going to draw these on the same set of axes, and we're going to have now the repeated root for the cubic is going to be just here. That's negative 1, so negative 1, 0. And then we're going to have now a single root just here, and that's going to be 2, 0. With a negative cubic equation, we come from the second quadrant and it's going to touch the axis here as this is a repeated root. It will turn round and it will look something like so. So we'll come through this point right here and now leave in the fourth quadrant. So this point right here is where it touches. This is where it passes through. So we end up now with something looking like so. Now, if we consider the other, the, the y-intercept here, that is when x is going to be equal to 0. So if we look at that, when x is equal to 0, we're going to have now 1 squared, and then we're going to multiply that by 2. So this point right here will become 0, 2. So that's 0, 2. So all I've done is substituted in x is equal to 0 to find that value. So that's what we have here. OK, let's now draw 2 over x. This is the reciprocal graph. So let's just draw a quick sketch. 1 over x looks something like so. So all we have on here is a scale factor stretch of 2 in the y direction. So if we do that now, let's go ahead. What we're going to have is something that looks like this. So it'll come round like so, and it will asymptote just here, and we'll come down, and it'll look something like that to the right and then something like this now to the left. So that is a very rough sketch. So we can write that this is going to be y is equal to 2 over x. We've got now that y is equal to, with our cubic, y is equal to x plus 1 all squared multiplied by 2 minus x. This graph, the green graph, is going to have no points of intersection with the coordinate axis. So that's done. Remember, these are sketches. They're not immaculate, and drawing them on the tablet is uh, a bit more challenging um, than you would expect. Okay, in part C for one mark, with reference to your diagram in part B, state the number of real solutions to the equation x plus 1 all squared multiplied by 2 minus x is equal to 2 over x. We can see on here now that we've got two points of intersection, and we've got this one here and this one here. There'll be no points of intersection here, so we can say now that the number of real solutions to that equation will be 2. So one mark in the last part.